Let's go ahead and call up the Boone case. State of Florida versus Sarah Boone, 2020, CF 2603, State. Boone, 2603, State. Dave Cacciatore on behalf of the state. Yes. Frank Bankowitz. Please raise your right hand. Do you solemnly swear or affirm that the testimony you shall give should be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? So help you God. Yes. Right. Can I have JAC announce themselves as well? Yes, Audrey Moore for JAC. All right. So we have multiple matters scheduled uh, this morning, one of which is Mr. Bankwitz's motion to withdraw. My reading of the law is I feel like I have to address that motion first and rule on that before I can address any other motions that would be uh, heard today. So, Mr. Bankwitz, I'll start with you. Tell me why you're moving to withdraw. Judge, the, le the letters that have been coming to your honor, uh, the derogatory berating of my services in this case, uh, I can't effectively represent her. Uh, I, she doesn't trust me. She calls me a, a dud, I think, a buffoon, uh, on and on and on and on. And no one should have to endure that type of uh, derogatory comments and expect to effectively represent someone, especially in a murder case. Ms. Boone, <clears throat> I read your letter dated August 26, 2023, and your letter dated August 30th, 2023. And just so we're clear, I read all of the letters that you send to the court. Whether I respond or not is based on what's in the letter and whether I'm asked to actually do something that's within my purview as a judge or not. If I understand correctly, you have now decided that you think it would be best, in fact, if Mr. Bankowitz was allowed to withdraw. Is that correct? Yes. All right. And you understand by him withdrawing, I'll have to appoint another attorney. Do you understand that? I do. And that attorney is not standing here, so we're not going to be able to address, and I'll give the state a chance to talk to me as well, but assuming I grant this, we won't be able to address the other issues that were docketed for today, which means I'm going to have to reset your case for a later date. Do you understand that? I'm not sure what items it is you're speaking of. I haven't received a copy yet of the letter. Right. So we also were having a hearing today in regards to authorization for payment for an expert that your attorney believes he needs to defend you in an issue about the compensation of that expert, which is why JAC is participating today. I don't know if your next lawyer is gonna think that that expert's the right person to use or whether they're gonna go a different route after consulting with you. And even if they did, they're not standing here. And once Mr. Banquets is out, he's out. He can't argue the motion. So do you understand that? I fully understand. All right. Mr. Cacciatore, normally the state takes no position in these issues, but there are limited circumstances when the state does take a position. So are you taking a position on this motion withdrawal, Mr. Cacciatore? No, this would be one of those times where we would be not taking a position. All right. So... Uh, I'm going to grant Mr. Bankwitz's motion to withdraw. I'm going to appoint find my list. Attorney Winston Hobson to represent Ms. Boone. Uh, in regards to the other matters scheduled today, I'm going to take no action on them at this time until Mr. Hobson can... Well, in regards to the motion involving JAC, I'm simply going to take no action on that motion at this point in time until Mr. Hobson has a chance to review it and determine whether he wants to proceed with that motion. I will address the pretrial because today was also supposed to be pretrial. Here's what we'll do. Let me just get my calendar up. As far as pretrial conference, I'm going to set this case for pretrial conference on Tuesday, November 28th, and a trial period starting Monday, December 11th. I think any earlier period of time would be unrealistic for Mr. Hobson to get on board, get up to speed with the discovery, 
and determine how he wants to proceed in regards to any experts. But I will set a status hearing on the case prior to that. I'll set a status hearing on the case Monday, October 30th. 2023 at 10 a.m. That'll be for the purpose of making sure that Mr. Hobson's on board, some sense of where he thinks are things are, uh, how realistic he thinks the November pretrial is, any other matters I need to address with him at that time. Now, Ms. Boone, in just a minute, they're going to take you back to the Orange County Jail. I'm going to suggest that you talk to Mr. Hobson about the various other issues you raised in your letter dated August 30th, 2023. One other thing I want to talk to you about, we had this conversation once in the past. Clearly, your working relationship with Mr. Banquets was such that it deteriorated to the point where the two of y'all just couldn't work together to defend your case. So I'm not going to try to referee um, how that played out, why that unfolded the way it did. But one thing I want to caution you about, if this becomes a problem on another court-appointed attorney, I'm going to look more closely at what the alleged disputes are. You have a right to a court-appointed lawyer. There are certain decisions a defendant gets to make in the defense of their case that are absolutely theirs, such as whether they go to trial or not, such as whether they testify or not. But there are many decisions in a case that a lawyer gets to make. And while you certainly have a right to consult with your lawyer and discuss with your lawyer, they don't automatically just do whatever you say, they use their professional judgment and experience and look at the evidence, look at the law, and do the best they can. Also, you've got court-appointed counsel. As I've explained to you before, court-appointed counsel rarely have the luxury of representing one person and only having one case to focus on. I have concerns that your expectations of what any court-appointed counsel might do as far as spending time with you and the depth and degree of communication may be unrealistic expectations. You always have the right to retain a lawyer to represent you, and then that's between you and that lawyer. You can demand whatever expectations that you have as part of that agreement. But when it's a court-appointed lawyer, you have to accept and understand that they have other cases, other courtrooms, other responsibilities. And I'm cognizant of that when I'm addressing these types of issues about communication. So that's just food for thought, nothing to do today. I don't need a response from you. I just wanted to make sure you were aware of that and we're thinking about that as we proceeded forward. So again, the court minutes reflect that I am court continuing pretrial. I have granted a motion to withdraw. I have appointed Mr. Hobson to represent the defendant, and I'm taking no action on the motion, the ex parte motion for a cost directed uh, where GAC is responding. Ms. Boone will be returned to the Orange County Jail pending disposition of her case. Thank you, Judge. All right. Am I able to say anything? Hmm? 